guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a video I'm excited to do. I've kind of done one similar to this already, but this is a video that I thought I would end up having to reference when it came to my own baby. And it turns out I don't have to because this video, obviously you know from the title, is little boy's names, but I am having a girl. And I'm currently 12 weeks pregnant as you are watching this video. And I'm so excited to have a little girl, but the names on this list that I'm about to share with you now are obviously names that I won't be using, but these are names that we considered when we were pregnant with Sebastian, and these are names that I thought I was going to have to consider, like I said, this time around, and it turns out that I don't have to. Uh, actually posted the girl names video first because I thought, oh, I'll get the girl names out of the way because I still don't know what I might wanna name another baby boy, and I thought I was gonna still be adding to this list. So now that we know I won't be using this list, I stopped adding to it and I'm just gonna share the ones that are on here. So there's eight names, they're all boy names. Um, it's much less than the girl list. Let's just get right into it. And I hope that these names bring you inspiration. You guys know if you watched my other video, which I will link below, I like classic names. I like names that grow with the baby, even if they may sound mature on a child. These names that I've selected will work through their whole life and they're not so much like cutesy or trendy or names that make you go hmm you know so that said i understand everyone's taste isn't the same and some of these names may not be your style but i hope that if they are that maybe i can help you think of some names that you would want to use if you have a little boy so the first name on this list i actually heard this if you guys are like bravo fanatics like i am then you may watch that show Ladies of London and there's a girl on there named Juliet and her son's name is Truman. Upon first hearing Truman, you don't necessarily think of, oh, I think I would love to name my son that. But as I started to watch him and just see like her call him that name, I was like, oh my gosh, Truman is kind of cute. I don't know if we ever would have gone with Truman if this baby had been a boy, but I like the name. And I love that when he gets older, whoever's son is named Truman will grow up and have a really strong name. And this name is so strong that even if your last name isn't like a really strong name, like my last name is not a strong last name, Truman still sounds really good and um, I don't know what you would do about a middle name with that, but I just really like Truman. And if you like nicknames, I guess you could call him True, but a lot of the names on my list, I guess you could do nicknames or maybe not, but I think all of these names sound good without one. The next name is Harrison. I love Harrison. I probably would have named our little boy Harrison, but some random girl named Meghan Markle who just happens to be famous somewhere. Just kidding, I really love Meghan Markle. She's like, she's everything. She named her baby Harrison and I just can't do it after that. And I was talking about it on my Instagram a few months ago, I think before I was even pregnant, and someone goes, well, why does it matter if Meghan Markle named her son Harrison? I think they named him Archie or something, Archie Harrison or something like that, or Harrison Archie and they call him Archie. Either way, someone was like, well, why does it matter what she named him? They're never gonna meet in person, so you can name him what you want. And it's true, I can name him what I want, but my issue, and you know this if you watch the Girl Names videos, are I don't want my children to ever have a name where they sit in their classroom and they are one of five or more of the same name. As a teacher, I have had class where I have four of the same boy with the same name in my class. Some parents don't care and that's completely fine and the names are great, but I do. And I, I want them to always feel a little bit different or feel like they're not one of many other children and people. I want them to feel like they're their own person. And after Meghan Markle named her son that, I realized that that name is going to skyrocket. Just like Charlotte, when Princess Kate named her daughter Charlotte, it has been in the top 10 since she did that, and that was years ago. And Harrison's gonna do the same. And I realized Meghan Markle's baby's not gonna be that, that much older than mine, maybe just a year or so. And a lot of moms out there who are pregnant now with me are going to be naming their son Harrison, and I didn't wanna do that. But luckily, we don't even have to use it, but that is why. But I love that name. The next name was also a name that we were highly considering for the baby, and that is Campbell. I feel like Campbell's a name that you either like it or you don't. I also feel like it is slightly unisex, which is kind of cool. I think that if there was a little girl named Campbell and I saw her, I'd be like, 
well done your parents have good taste but i really liked it for a boy and if you wanted to do a nickname you can call him cam but i think campbell is so cool and so strong and so like it will take him places in life and i also think it's like truman where that name can go with any last name as far as like the last name may not be as strong as the first name, but it can still work. I think we could have made Campbell work if we had chosen it. And um, I just really, really love it. Name number four. Now, I like this name. I follow a girl on Instagram and her husband has this name. It's not my favorite on this list, but it's a good name. And this name will probably cause a stir <laughs> amongst people who hear it. And I don't think my husband likes it, but I do. And it is fair. And I think that you have to be careful with a name like Thayer because if you don't pronounce it correctly, it can sound like Thayer. Or if you live in the South like we do, they'll be saying there. You just never know. So that goes into a lot of my why I wouldn't use this name. But when said correctly, Thayer, I think that sounds really nice. And it sounds like he is smart. And it sounds like he is well read and will grow up and have a good job. And paired with like a really good middle name, I think that that name could take him places. And it definitely will not be a multi-use name within his kindergarten class, that's for sure. And I don't think a lot of these names are, but definitely no one's gonna have Thayer. So if you like Thayer, use it. And if you ever see a little boy named Thayer, know that that little boy's mom and I we see eye to eye. All right, the next name on my list was actually going to be Sebastian's middle name and was a contender for this baby's first name as well. We ended up naming Sebastian, Sebastian James, but this name is Graham. I love Graham. I think it sounds so nice, but again, there is a pronunciation issue that I think that people may have and that worries me. So Graham is a strong name. I love Graham. I say it almost as if I'm saying Graham, but we live in the South and down here, people talk a little bit slower and we're a little bit lazier on our pronunciation. And all I could think of is somebody being like, Graham, where's Graham? You know, and I'm like, no, we can't have that. His name is Graham. I don't even want him saying it wrong. And that would be a problem. And I also don't want him to be nicknamed Gray either. And that's something you have to think about when you name your child anything with the G-R-A or sometimes even like G-R-E, Y at the beginning. So gray's my favorite color, but I don't necessarily love it for a nickname for Graham. So the next name, I love this name. I actually knew a girl in college with this name and I thought it was a masculine name when I heard it on her, but it, I like that it worked for her. So I guess this could be unisex and it is Holden. And I don't really have a lot to say about Holden. I think it's a nice name. It's one of my favorite little boy's names, obviously, cause it's on this list. But yeah, I think Holden is sweet. I think it's strong. I'm not 100% sure what middle name you would use with Holden, especially if it was a girl's name, you could do something super feminine to try to like equalize the strength of Holden. But with Holden being the boy's name, I'm not really sure. You could probably go really simple and do like Holden Michael, but I just love the name Holden. It's a little bit different and it's not super common, but it's not weird either. The next name you've probably all heard before and it is Wesley. Uh, just love it. I've always loved the name Wesley. I've had friends named Wesley growing up, not all at the same time, but just I've known guys named Wesley. We called them Wes. I think Wes is just a strong name in general to have. So for the nickname to even be strong, you know that the name is good. And I just think Wesley is so handsome. I just love that. It's not even like a cute name, it's handsome. I would be happy to call a little boy Wesley. I'm not 100% sure Wesley would go with our last name, but uh, I do love it. I love, love, love the name Wesley. It has always been a favorite of mine. And I didn't say this at the beginning. These names are in no particular order because as you could see, I really love Wesley Thayer. If these were in order, would have probably been at the bottom, but I'm just writing them as I have them. And the last name on this list I have is Sterling. I have only known one person with the name Sterling and he's a friend of mine's little brother. And I've just always loved the name ever since then. I think it's really cute. Sterling is a cute name to me. I don't think I would ever personally use Sterling, but it is one of my favorite names. And then I think I was watching Teen Mom one day and one of the girls on there has a best friend who's a girl and her name was Sterling. So I guess it's a unisex name. I don't know, comment below if you know any female Sterlings or if you know anybody and how they use these names, comment below which one's your favorite one or if you've used any of these names, what middle name you 
you used with them. Anyway, yeah, Sterling, I, I just think it's cute. I've always loved it. I just, as a whole, tried to keep this list true to who we are. And it's those strong classic names, but not the typical ones like George or Michael or James as a first name, or I don't know, whatever is on the top. 10 list now. Those names are great, but they're very common. So yeah. Anyway, that is all I have for this video. I hope that you liked my choices. If not, feel free to tell me in the comments below. And if you haven't seen my baby girl names video, I will link it below and I hope that you will go watch that and uh, interact with us in the comments as well. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.